So here we have a trig identity that we're asked to prove. We're asked to show sine 2x times tan x is the same as 1 minus cos 2x. Wouldn't worry too much about the range in which x has to be found in. The point of this is that tangent of x is not defined when x is pi upon 2. Tan pi upon 2 does not exist and neither does tan 3 pi upon 2. So they're just giving a range where this all makes sense. So let's start with the left-hand side of this identity and see what we can make of it. So what can we do with sine 2x times tan x? Well, we know there's a formula, a double angle formula. Sine 2x is the same as twice sine x times cos x. We also know that tan x can be written as sine x over cos x. Now, there's a bit of cancelling goes on these cos x's, and we'll be left with 2 times sine x times sine x, so that's 2 sine squared x. Now, you may realise that there is a, co a double angle formula, cos 2x is 1 minus 2 sine squared x, and be tempted to write equals 1 minus cos 2x, but be very careful. You have to show every step on the way here. Um, I would tend at this stage to stop where you are and say, well, let's just take that right-hand side, because it's 1 minus cos 2x, and replace that cos 2x by a useful version of it, which is 1 minus 2 sine squared x. And when you multiply that out, you get 1 minus 1 plus 2 sine squared x. And that clearly shows that you knew what you were doing by rearranging, if you like, the appropriate cos 2x formula. And therefore, since the left-hand side is this and the right-hand side is the same thing, we have shown that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. Hence, result. So that's uh, part A. Let's move on now and see what part B is all about. So part B involves differentiation. We're told that we have a function f of x which is sine 2x times tan x. And presumably being second part of this question, we should be using the result we've had. We certainly can't differentiate this to find f dash of x as it is. It's a product of two things with x's involved. So let's rewrite it in the form that we worked out in part A. We know now it's exactly the same as 1 minus cos 2x. So therefore we can now differentiate this. If we differentiate the 1, we get 0. And let's have a look at differentiating cos 2x first of all. So suppose we have cos x. We know that when we differentiate cos x, we get minus sine x. If there's a 2 in front of the x, we have to use the chain rule. So we would differentiate cosine of something to get minus the sine of that something times whatever we get when we differentiate that 2x, which is just 2. So we get minus 2 sine 2x. That's using the chain rule. So we can differentiate the 1 to get 0. We can differentiate minus cos 2x by differentiating the cos 2x to get minus 2 sine 2x, just as we did at the side there. So we'll get a positive 2 sine 2x for our final result.